Well then, time to decide if we're gonna do the double jump or the charge jump. My preference would be the charge jump. So we're gonna do the double jump first and we'll see what that looks like. So, double jump, double jump, here's my test, so we get across, but we can't get up here with the double jump, playing this on PlayStation 5. And normally that doesn't look that bland. <laughs> okay, so fortified ankles. Charge to jump. Here we go. So, less control over our timing, but obviously we can get more height. Oh. So we can make it up there. So better exploration options for the charge jump over the double jump so I was kinda quick to dismiss the upgrade for the legs here purple fortified ankles reduces fall damage by 15 eh. percent so I mean I don't like this thing <laughs> that's why I didn't really bother to say much about it, but hey, teach their own. So here we go. It does remind me a lot of, like, say, Destiny's jumping <laughs> for, like, the Warlock, right? So uh, it's slow. Yeah, you get some more control over it. Uh, you can hold the X button and do your jumping ability straight off of that tap and then double jump and hold it yeah so fall damage here we go so let's do your jump at about there you'll glide down no problem however just a regular jump like that will hurt you right so So from that height to the ground, that's about our distance, and again, once your screen starts turning red, you cannot activate your double jump. So here we go. Bam! Nope, didn't do nothing. So I'm just going to try that one more again. I'm going to run off the edge and try to activate my jump here we go holding it nope did nothing well we're gonna try and glide down see what happens here gliding still dead <laughs> so yeah I don't use this thing, uh, but if you like it, hey, you do you. Uh, like I said, all these upgrades, it's more a matter of preference of playstyle. But wait, there's more. Corner to corner test. Well, does it still count? I'm hovering. <laughs> okay, that didn't count. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay, corner, corner. You get a little bit more distance, that much is clear. But uh, I wouldn't call that significant. Uh, it's still pretty slow, like in the middle of a gunfight when I could say jump over that and like faster than that <laughs> that's 
more useful to me than a double jump or, you know, just a little, eh. It's, that's slow. I don't like it. <laughs> um, anyhow, this upgrade, 7,500. Um, Eddie's, that'll get to the upgrade. It's located here. Just don't do what I did. I got locked out of the mission after doing a main quest. Um, yeah. So on my other character, I slightly put a fist to his face or something like that. Uh, just a little gentle tap with my character, that is. And he would not sell me the upgrade. Um, he also sells another one. It lets you run quietly, so... I'm not really interested in that either. I do use stealth uh, mainly, um, but... Yeah. Coming back to the subject of the charge jump versus the double jump. So... We're just going to do a little bit more research on this subject. So, one thing to note real quick, pay attention to when you're falling here, it's going to go red. Now, when you're higher up, you're going to die, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, corner to corner, charge jump. Let's do this again. Sprint, charge jump, corner to corner. Get some height. And, in most cases, I never get hit by the cars passing, because I just don't want to wait for the crosswalk. So, double jump. What does that look like? So, distance-wise, corner, corner. Don't have the same height, but you got about the same distance. better too <laughs> but yeah another thing that uh, was brought up is minimizing fall damage so I mean yeah you could fall a certain distance before you, you can't double jump again but at some point you're just going to uh, <laughs> not be able to execute your double jump after a certain height uh, like I said notice when uh, the screen goes red when you're falling. It's um, like right about here. Like it starts to turn red, you could still jump, the, uh, double jump. But go a little higher, and at some point you cannot do your double jump. So, another thing that was brought up was, you know, doing that, you can still double jump off of that, so that works. All right, so screen turns red. Double jumping. I know I'm gonna die, so <laughs> might as well have some fun. Check me out, dude. Wee! Jump, jump, jump. Nope. Doesn't work. So there you have it. You got two different options: double jumping, charge jumping. I prefer the charge jump, you get more height, you get the same distance as long as you're sprinting. Uh, yeah, it's probably more a matter of preference, really. Um, yeah. I mean, I personally would rather jump over a hoe in a single bound, but with this, probably let's try to yeah, make it over them. Yeah, 